Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And I just got back from Osaka as well as Kobe. Um, bought quite a few things and I uh, just want to let y'all know exactly what uh, you can expect as far as upcoming reviews. Uh, probably in the next like maybe three months. I definitely am not going to be able to do all this within the month of June. Um, but I think in the next three months I can get probably quite a few of these things uh, knocked out. Um, just considering, you know, I'm really trying to like... I'm trying to have a good balance between new kits that come out within the month as well as things that are going to be in my backlog. Um, but I pretty much only bought things that are, are limited releases. I don't, I don't really go out of my way to get normal release kits unless they're like very like like super super rare of a normal release. Um, but I pretty much just bought a lot of P Mandai stuff as well as kind of like more limited kits. Alright, so the first thing I just want to let you know I got, uh, pretty much is the Yugi Moto. Uh, I like the Revo Tech, uh, line. It's, I, I think it's a pretty good line. So I decided to get him because I also do have the Dark Magician. But, um, if you do want a review of this guy, uh, let me know. And here's a tilt roller pack. This is the only thing that's like normal release I bought because uh, I just didn't want to buy it like when I was coming back from Kobe. So I decided I, I was just gonna go ahead and buy it because I am going to be reviewing this uh, pretty much after the Ogre GNX. All right, next I bought the Mizen Kaiser. Um, I think this is a really really cool looking kit. And it's made by a Good Smile Company, so uh, I don't really think they've done too many uh, model kits uh, so far, but. Uh, this looks fantastic, and I cannot wait to go ahead and build it. Also, guys, uh, with these kits, let me know which ones you may want to see um, first before anything else. So, uh, my kind of you know schedule is going to be uh, the first kit I'm going to uh, pretty much review is going to be the Ogre GNX. Um, then I'm going to do, be doing the Tilt Rotor. So after that, I, I, I you know it's kind of like an open window. I have the Jinrai, which is a, a full armor girl. Uh, well, frame arms girl. So let me know if there's something like in particular of these of these particular kits uh, you want to see me review first. All right, the next I went ahead and bought the Master Grade Heavy Arms Custom. Uh, I've been looking for this kit everywhere, and honestly, it was it was a good price. It was about sixty bucks. Uh, I think online it goes for like hundred and twenty or hundred dollars. So um, I really just didn't want to pass it up. All right, next is the Master Grade Sand Rock Custom. Um, honestly, I had to get it because I really want to, uh, you know, complete my entire uh, Endless Waltz OVA collection. Um, and basically, these two kits were the last missing pieces of that puzzle. So I really just want to get it for the collection purposes. Next thing I bought was the High Grade Gundam M91. I really, really love the design of this. This is the same guy that had the uh, F91 Imagine uh, in the anime. So I was like, you know what? I really want this kit in my collection because it is extremely, extremely unique. Next is the Tall Strike Gundam Glitter. Um, I really love the kind of binders. It really has like an age two look uh, to it. So I like the binders. I like the overall looks of it. And um, it's really going to go good with the uh, amazing uh, Strike Freedom right over there in the corner on the shelf. Next, I got the High Gray RX-78-2 Gundam. This is the Art of Gundam uh, Metallic Edition. So it's a metallic Gundam, but uh, it was only 1,200 yen. So I was like, you know what? It's not really that bad of a price. It's kind of like a little bit beat up of a box. Um, but that's kind of like the, the perks of going to these juice shops is that you can find relatively rare or uh, just like limited gun, uh, Gunpla for a fairly cheap price. Next, I got the High Gray Gundam Crossbone x Zero. I really don't want any of the other ones because I already have the Master Grade forms of those. Uh, but I really wanted this one just because I have I don't have a Master Grade uh, form of it, and I really just didn't want to uh, to paint the crossbone in those colors. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and pick up the um, the high grade just because it has all the weapons and everything I really want. Next, I got the high-grade Heavy Gundam. I actually didn't even know that uh, this was getting released this month. So finding this, I only found one of these. I didn't find any more. Um, so finding this one, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up because how? You know, I really love the Heavy Gundam, but I think the Master Grade was just like really bad. Um, so I bought the Master Grade and I sold that one because I just didn't like the looks of it, uh, didn't like the articulation. Um, so picking this one up, I have high hopes because it is utilizing the Origin um, type frame. And next I got the Luminous Crystal Body uh, Unicorn Gundam from Gundam Base. I uh, just really like the overall looks. Now this I am going to paint because um, although it looks really good, you know, the way the color is now, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and paint it because I can, I can really bring out, I think, that, uh, that green just a little bit more. And next I got the 7-Eleven Unicorn Gundam. I uh, just really love the colors on this, so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. And the last of the kits is just another RX-78-2 Gundam uh, 711. I love I love the 711 colors. And although there was a whole bunch of 711 kits I could have picked up, uh, I just didn't want to get them all at one go because I could probably find them somewhere else in the wild. Uh, but I mean, I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. It's like yeah, it's like it's like 12 bucks right over here. Uh, so not really that expensive. 
All right, and as far as tools, I did get a uh, little scriber because I'm going to start doing, um, uh, I'm going to start scribing some panel lines in kits. I, just, I really want to practice on that uh, type of skill. So I bought one of these just to go ahead and start practicing on that. I bought some extra little decals, so I got some red decals as well as like these little light gray ones. Uh, so these go good for some uh, high grays or master grays I decided to build. So I got this like carbon Kevlar type finish. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, never really experimented with these, but I guess you like you cut them out and it's an adhesive, so you just you know stick it onto whatever. So uh, I might just like cut small parts out and, and just put it put it in like different places and just really experiment uh, experimenting with this. And then I got another Tamiya Weathering Master. This is pretty much like orange, pink, and like a, a like a peach right here in the middle. Uh, so I'm ma I'm mainly using this for um, to assist with probably like this with maybe a little bit more rust. But um, really, realistically, these two are going to be for my uh, Frame Arms girls. Uh, just kind of do some shading on the actual flesh tone colors. And then I got a little purple marker. I got a silver pen that I'm not really too sure how metallic it is, but my wife was saying that it does say metallic on there. So I'm like, all right, I'll just go ahead and try it out. But I figured for two bucks, uh, it's kind of cool just to see exactly what this does. I got some more Mr. Weathering color for that uh, that little rust effect. So I'm really going all out with the rusting. I just really want to like, I want to practice as much as I can with it. So I, I figured this would be a good little thing to, uh, to have in my collection. And then I got some panel line accent color gray because I have light gray. So I want to go ahead and get uh, just a regular gray with uh, my black and brown and all that. So I uh, kind of have different options on, you know, when I'm panel lining these kits. And then I got Mr. Color White. Uh, just needed some, you know, nice little white paint. So whenever I paint the, uh, the unicorn, uh, I'm probably just going to use this paint right here. And then I picked up these two metallic colors. So one is basically a, uh, a it says blue gold. Um, I mean, it looks like a normal gold, but I guess it has like a... I don't know, a little bit a different tint on there. Uh, and then I got this nice little uh, yellow green. So uh, this is obviously going to be used for um, like that crystal crystallized uh, stuff on the unicorn. And I got gold just because I really like gold uh, on on kits. So I can use this for you know whatever kind of projects in the future. And then lastly, I got some airbrush cleaner. So um, you know whenever I do start airbrushing, probably next weekend, I can go ahead and start cleaning it out. Uh, you know, not really breaking my airbrush as soon as I start using it. Well, that's it for me, guys. So uh, definitely lo let me know in the comments below what you would like to see first. Um, but as far as what kits I'm going to be painting out of everything I just bought, it's definitely going to be this unicorn right here, uh, the Crossbone X-Zero, as well as the... I'm thinking about the Heavy Arms Custom and then definitely the uh, um, M91. Those are going to be painted, but the Heavy Arms, I'm kind of like on the fence, but I'm probably going to do that um just as an experiment with the uh the heated uh gatling guns uh because i really want to do that like you know blue heated metal um other than that guys that's it so uh, definitely thanks for watching and stay tuned for i got some more reviews coming up and i do have a overlook of june's uh releases that will be coming out probably in uh, i think wednesday I'll, I'll go ahead and release that but um that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye